32-year-old Katie didn't shy away from hugs Wednesday, despite the financial burden she's currently facing. Katie lives on age, um, so everything that um, she needs has to come out of that payment. Deb Havestad is advocating for her nonverbal daughter. Katie is incontinent and requires diapers, a medical supply that has been covered by the province for 14 years. Despite no changes in Katie's diagnosis, Alberta Health Services is requiring a reassessment to continue receiving coverage. In the meantime, they're paying out of pocket since March. It's $217 a month that she's now paying. Either her or I have to pay so that she can continue to have her incontinent briefs. Deb reached out to City News after we shared Philip Rayworth's story last week. He lost his bladder to cancer and had to pay for urostomy bags at his own expense while waiting for a reassessment. AHS has since cancelled his appointment and his medical supplies will continue to be covered. I have been her advocate her whole life and, and will be until I die. <laughs> Deb says her daughter is forced to wait four to six months for an assessment. HS telling them there is a staff shortage. She believes this process for those with chronic conditions is a waste of resources. Katie is not going to spontaneously become continent. Um, that other gentleman, his, his bladder is not going to regrow. This is a lifelong uh, disability that she has. In a statement from Alberta Health last week, they tell City News they are working as quickly as possible to make sure these reassessments happen in a timely manner. On Wednesday, telling City News, if a client's supplies run out in the meantime, an extension through Alberta Aids to Daily Living is available. Adding they are reviewing its policies to ensure those who need access supports can continue to do so without interruptions. Deb says this isn't something offered or communicated to her daughter and something she will now look into. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.